previous video, I took a Barbie video game hero doll and head swapped her with a skipper body to allow me to have more options and a more customized doll. Now it's time to do the same thing with this Barbie video game hero. If you saw my previous video, you know I had to go through a couple of different body options before I found a close enough skin tone match. So for this Barbie, I have two skipper options, both from the Babysitter's Ink line. So before we unbox these, let's just take a closer look. She has a very tan skin tone, so she might be very difficult to match. But she's got really pretty green eyes, and she is from the Barbie video game hero movie. You can see on the back of the package some little scenes from that film. The main reason I even want to do a head swap with these video game hero dolls is because I really love their face sculpts and face paint, uh, but I am not in love with sculpted on clothing. It really limits what you can do with the doll. So here are our two potential body transplant options. We have this Barbie Skipper, Babysitter's Inc. and she comes with a cute little toddler that she's babysitting and some adorable accessories. On the back of this packaging, you can see a couple of the other play sets in this Babysitter's Inc. line. And then we have this friend of Skipper who has a slightly darker skin tone. So she'll probably be the winner of this comparison challenge, but let's see. On the back, you can see some of the other Skipper friends in this line. They all work for her little Babysitter's Inc. business. So it's time to get these ladies out of their packaging so we can properly compare skin tones. So here they all are out of our packaging. We'll take a look at Skipper first. She's got a really cute face. Again, I love her hair. It's pretty soft. Purple streaks and brown. She's wearing this little earth-friendly tee and a denim print skirt. She has in her hand what looks like a sippy cup and she's got a bag and she's wearing these little pink sneakers. She has the basic articulation and that's true of all of these dolls. Neck, shoulder, and hips. She came with a little toddler and a stroller and look what happens when the wheels move. That's pretty cute. The stroller has a little inset for a cup. I'm pretty sure this cup is supposed to be for Skipper, but the uh, sippy cup probably fits in there. And when you take the little girl out, she's pretty cute except her one eye seems a little messed up. But you know, we should all be loved for our differences. Uh, I just noticed her She's very squishy, she's got a squishy head. But she is pretty cute, even with her asymmetrical eyes. I love that she has real clothing. It Velcros in the back. And she's wearing little baby sneakers, so that's pretty cute. It came with a few other accessories. I already pointed out <clears throat> the cup of whatever this is for Skipper. And then we've got this little plastic bag of snack for the kid, it's pretty cute. Um, and then we have a little pink teddy bear. And I don't know what this is. Anybody have any ideas what this is supposed to be? Looks like some kind of remote control or something. And this is, I believe, Skipper's cell phone, which has uh, you know some kind of baby monitoring app on it. Then we have Barbie's friend and fellow babysitter and she has really pretty, very soft, straight brown hair. She's got this cute little pink striped three quarter length sleeve tee and these flower print shorts and little pink sneakers. And she has in her hand uh, a cell phone. She came with this baby bottle and two paperboard pieces, uh, a pizza and a little toddler toy. And then finally we have our Barbie video game hero doll. And as I pointed out, she has molded on clothing. She's wearing these capri length pants with stars on the knees. She does have a real fabric and plastic skirt that Velcros in the back. 
but when you take the skirt off, it has this weird indent around the waist, um, I guess to hold the skirt in place. Um, her hair, I love the style, it's really cute, um, but it is like cemented down with product. If we do a successful head swap, I will be washing her hair. Then she's got these cute little headphones. I really like these teal blue high tops that she's wearing. They're pretty cool. So let's ch compare skin tones. I am pretty sure our skipper is gonna be way too fair. Yep, not even close. But skipper's friend seems like a pretty good match. Let's compare hand to face. I think this is gonna work. Boop, boop. Let the head swap commence. So for head removal, I've seen plenty of people online be able to do this with seemingly no effort. I, however, need a plastic bag and a bowl of boiling hot water. Parent supervision required, people. I'm gonna go with this girl first. You put her in the plastic bag and dunk her in the hot water. I'm gonna try for a minute. So it's time to remove her from the water. I do have a towel on hand. And let's see. Okay. She's warm, but she's not like gonna burn my hand or anything. So now we have to carefully try to remove her head. It's definitely softer. And what you're looking for It doesn't really matter for this doll because I don't think I'm going to use the reuse the body for anything. But you're looking to get the edge of the neck peg. So there we have it, and that was even harder than the last time I did it. <sighs> So that was hard, but let's repeat the process with this little lady. This one was super easy. She came right off, no problems at all. So it must have been something with maybe this head. Yeah, she feels like a much harder plastic. So, moment of truth. Now you can take these off. You can cut them off, these little side pegs, but I'm actually not going to. I'm gonna see if I can get this lady on with the side pegs. See how that goes. And here she is. Yay! Unfortunately, it didn't go so well for Skipper's friend. She's got a serious case of bobblehead. But our video game superhero looks great. Let's get her hair washed. So here she is the next day and her hair is all dry and now it's really soft. So cute. Um, but I'm not loving the pink with her hair colors. Luckily I found some additional fashion packs including this Super Mario, this Princess Peach, and this Care Bear. Hmm, let's see how this Care Bear will look with her hair color. So here she is in the Care Bear shirt and it's cute but it looks a little big on her, uh, but I did give her these shorts from a previous Skipper unboxing and they look super cute. I think I want to stick with the video game theme with her, but I didn't like that other pink shirt on her, so I don't think I'm going to like Princess Peach either. But maybe Princess Peach could go on Skipper, and that leaves this Super Mario shirt for our new customized doll. She looks great! I love this shirt on her. And I switched out a different pair of Skipper sneakers, so now her shoes match. And Skipper looks pretty cute in this Princess Peach top. I'm really happy with my Barbie video game hero customizations. Just a little head swap makes all the difference. And these Super Mario outfits are perfect for them. So cute.